This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a uh, rigging method that I use. I like to throw uh, sunline braided line. I like to throw braid. But the thing is, I like to use braid as a backing material with a leader. And if you look here, you can see the braid right up here with a fluorocarbon leader. Uh, I like to flip that away, uh, especially on lakes that have grass in them. I think braid will cut through the grass a lot better, uh, allows you to get the fish back. The other thing is, even on abrasive lakes, like they've got rocks and sticks and trees and that type of stuff, fluorocarbon is a lot more abrasive resistant than, than braid. So I can actually flip into a brush pile and feel that strike better because of the, the braid. It also gives me a lot more power to get that fish out. But the fluorocarbon allows me to be a little more stealthier because it's, cl it's clearer, the fish can't see it under the water, especially uh, flipping in clear water lakes. A lot of times fish will get up in the bushes and, and like clear lakes like Table Rock and those places. And you need, to, you need to be able to power that fish out of that brush, but you also need to have the stealth to get into there. That is one of the reasons I like to use it uh, as far as a, the flipping application. The other thing is, braid, you don't have to change as much, you don't get as much memory. So you can, all you have to do is change your leader out versus changing all your line out, which will allow you to get more out of your line investment because you're using just a little short piece, two, three, four foot piece. Uh, the other method I like to use it is with my spinning rail, my spinning gear. This one I've got uh, a little shaky head tied on, but uh, especially drop shot. Where I'm using an SX1 braid like this, I'll throw like a 12 pound braid backing with an 8, 10, 12, whatever size tippet I can get by with. What that allows me to do is I can have more feel, especially if I'm really deep vertical fishing, uh, drop shot and that type of stuff down on the clear lakes like Table Rock again. I can, I can drop down there, I have more feel with the braid because it has less stretch, but it allows me to do the stealth with uh, the fluorocarbon tippet. I like using the, the Super FC Sniper line. It's a great, value. It's a great product for a great value. Uh, they also make, Sunline makes a 100% fluorocarbon line. They also make great nylon or monofilament lines like uh, Shooter here, uh, but they also make one called Shooter in the fluorocarbon line. Uh, that's, the, that's the cream of the crop. If you're, if you're really getting finesse, uh, need the ultimate in fluorocarbon, go to the, go to the Shooter. Sniper is, is a great line and the 100% fluorocarbon, the super fluorocarbon is basically your your best value line. The FX2 is more for flipping. Uh, it's going to be your larger pound strength. Your SX is going to be your, your lighter strength. Grab a couple pieces of rope here and show you how I actually attach that line, the, the, the tippet to the braided line. We're going to call the uh, the braid, we're going to call it the this red here. This is going to be our braided line. We're going to use, represent with the red rope and the white rope. We're going to represent our fluorocarbon leader. So what you need to do, the fluorocarbon, our braid, and we're going to have to really exaggerate on this since this is such big stuff to get it to loop right. But take it, you'll make a loop, and I'll show you this with the actual product, but it's going to be easy to represent here. You want to take your, your leader and run it through your hole four times. One, two, three, four. Then you want to take your braid and do the same thing. One, two, there's the third time. This is a little harder to manage because it's such big stuff, but, and then we're going to run it back through the fourth time. Then what you'll want to do is you'll want to moisten it. Kind of hard to do with this big line, but then you want to pull both of those together. 
pull your stuff, trim your tags, and that's got your braid with your mono, and that is the knot that I tie to attach my leaders to my braid. It's a good sturdy knot. It ain't going to slip. It's, it's very tough. Good way to attach two lines together. Now I'll show you real quick with uh, we've got a little piece of braid here and we're just going to attach this is the uh, 60 pound FX frog and flipping line and we're just going to attach a little piece of braid to it not supposed to use your teeth but uh, I left my scissors take the same thing here's my braid here's my leader take it I just wrap it around two fingers and make my loop take my fluorocarbon one two three four and then grab the line where the fluorocarbon is, still got our loop here, and the, take the braid. One, two, three, four. Hold them both in, the, in each hand, moisten it, pull it, and then what I like to do is grab the two tags and pull them tight and there is your same thing. Very stiff. I think this is, uh, this is 12 pounds. Ouch! That is the braid to the tippet. I hope that helps you understand a new way to get the most out of your investment. Uh, also help you get more bites because of the sensitivity of the braided line, the low stretch. Uh, it allows you to fish multiple different types of leaders. You can actually do this with a mono or fluorocarbon. You can put a tippet on it the same way. Uh, I like to use braid, just a personal preference. I hope that uh, helps you learn a little bit more. Great, great way, great technique to use out there while you're fishing. Check out Sunline products. They're an awesome value, pro, awesome product for the price. Uh, they're, you, can, you can spend the amount of money that you want depending on the, the quality you want. Uh, they, it's great products. Uh, I've fished it for two or three years, testing it. Um, I am super excited to, to announce that I am now part of the Sunline team. And hope that helps you catch more fish and enjoy your time on the water. Thank you and tune in next time to another set of tips and tricks.